Howdy folks, welcome to this week's Ag Report. This week we're going to talk about agriculture and how you may get into agriculture, how I started in, in agriculture. I started in 1989 baling hay. Uh, in 1992 I started full-time farming. Now that can uh, look like a lot of different things. Uh, that can be row crops, corn and milo, soybeans, it can be hay production, it can be cattle production. The, the umbrella that the agriculture name uh, is huge, lots of things under it. So I want to kind of share with you a little bit about maybe you're thinking about, uh, you know, starting your own operation. Maybe that's eggs or chicken or honey or uh, beef, uh, you know, the, the list goes on and on. So when you do your research, you know, lots of different uh, places you can, you can source for information and things. Um, when I, when I started out, you know, I, I tried to learn what I could, but I want to want to share with you the little tidbits to, to kind of keep in mind. Every year is different. No two years are the same. The weather patterns are going to be different, whether that's an early frost or late frost in the spring, rainfall, that kind of stuff. So whatever you uh, may read about what needs to happen and what, what the timing is of it, you have to try and be flexible and do the best you can with, with what you have. Um, you know, I, I work ground here in Ellis County uh, from Sterrett to Rager Springs to Maypearl. And I can't work all that ground the same way. The soil types are different. Uh, I have to work that ground a little different in Rager Springs because it's heavier clay type ground. That ground over at Sterrett's a little lighter, uh, chalkier kind of ground. So even in Ellis County, you can't just uniformly do things. So you gotta kinda have to you know, keep that in the back of your mind. The other thing I would probably uh, share with you is um, talk to your, your, your spouse, whoever it is that's gonna be you know, coming alongside of you and helping you because it's, it's truthfully not a one man show or a one woman show. You're gonna need some help from time to time. You're gonna need rides to the field or maybe help getting parts. Uh, maybe there's things that are time sensitive and you're going to miss uh, some kind of engagement or something like that. Be sure and, sh and, and communicate that with whoever it is that is in your life that's going to be you know, helping you out or, or missing you when you're not there um, because you're going to need those people going forward in the future. When hailstorms happen, when bad things happen, you're going to need some of that support, that emotional support from them talk through your ideas and talk through what's going on. When those bad things happen, um, try not to, you know, uh, you know, dwell on them. Try, try and look through them and figure out a way to adapt, a way to salvage maybe what's left uh, of the crop or whatever the situation is. And I certainly understand. I have been through fires. I've been through vandalism, thefts. Uh, injuries, you know, you name it. I, I certainly understand what it means to have things break down and not go like planned. Maybe you're going to be a second generation, uh, I'm sorry, uh, maybe you're going to be a second career farmer. Maybe you have retired and, and you've decided, hey, I would like to, to get into agriculture. That's great. Lots of people are doing that. Um, you know, research your, your information just like this old motor grader that I'm standing by here, we all can't start with brand new things. A lot of times we have to start with some older things, some fixer uppers, uh, that kind of stuff. Um, keep that in mind. Every time something breaks, um, the pocketbook doesn't really, uh, uh, isn't deep enough to call the dealership every time you need something. So you, you don't have to uh, try and work on some of that stuff yourself. Um, and parts. That's the biggest thing I could stress to you is when you buy anything, be sure there is a parts network that you can get a hold of parts because it's going to be the weekend or it's going to be in the middle of something and you're going to need something real important uh, because it, 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 the old joke says it never breaks while it's sitting here in the bar. It's always while you're using it. Um, and, and I say that with a smile, but that's the truth. You can look something over Ten ways from Sunday in the barn, and it looked just fine. And you take it out in the field and make a, make a couple of rounds, 
and something falls or breaks or a sensor goes out and then your whole operation stops for a five dollar part sometimes sometimes it's more than five dollars but you kind of get the gist there so i would encourage you if you are interested in agriculture look into the things that interest you uh, if you're interested in fruits and vegetables or animals or you know, livestock production any of those things um, whatever it is that tickles your fancy look into it because at the end of the day I think all of your producers will tell you uh, we're not in this for the money okay um, a lot of times it's just from one hand to the next hand uh, paying the bills but we truly love what we do we we love taking care of the land we love being able to feed the people um, and we love the inner the interaction uh, that, that we have and so if you can find something that that truly you enjoy that is a niche in agriculture that you can do then you won't feel like you're going to work a day in your life uh, it, it just becomes a part of you and it becomes a joy and a, an enjoyment and I know that those hard times come and I know that, that sometimes they're a struggle and I'm not saying I have joy when things catch fire and burn down but it helps you get through those times and to see those better days coming so just wanted to share with you a little bit about about uh, you know what what I have done over the years uh, and what you may do um, I have done a lot of what we call custom work to try and generate income because when you're waiting on crops you're you're waiting six eight nine months at a time for that that paycheck to come in and as you know uh, the light bill likes to be paid every 30 days or you're going to be in the dark <laughs> so uh, you're going to have to find a little niche to where hopefully you can generate some steady uh, you know a little income coming in there some cash flow as the bankers like to call it uh, to help you get through those in between times in between your harvest so anyways hope you all enjoyed uh, this kind of glimpse into agriculture a little different uh, view a little different talk this week uh, if y'all have any questions as always reach out to the Walks Hatchie Sun Y'all take care now.